looking to take your productivity into the next level. Discover game changing Google Calendar tips and tricks that will revolutionize the way you manage your time, from seamless scheduling to hiding features that will keep you organized. You won't want to miss this expert insight. Get ready to transform your calendar into a powerful tool for success. So hey guys and welcome back in another video where I will show you step by step how to use Google Calendar. So the first step that you have to do is open your browser and dive into googlecalendar.google.com. This is the home page as you can see. So Google Calendar is a web-based application developed by Google that allows users to create, manage, and share events and appointments. It offers features like reminders, task management, integration with other Google services, and the ability to collaborate with others. Also. So users can access their calendars from various devices, making it a convenient tool for organizing personal and professional schedules. So to effectively use Google Calendar, you have just to familiarize yourself with event creation reminders or requiring appointments to streamline scheduling. Like that, you have just to create an event. So, sharing options are essential for collaboration with colleagues or family. Integrate Google Calendar with email and task management tools to boost your productivity. Customize your calendar with color coding and notifications to sort your preferences. Like that, here we have, the, for example, this one. I will just click over here and I will select the color that I want, for example. All right. With these features, you can efficiently manage your time and stay organized. So let's just go to the Google Calendar and I will show you how you can do that. So firstly, we have here the main menu and we have here the homepage Google Calendar. You can select today, all right? Or you can just select also the next week and the week that you want or the, the month that you want also. Then here we have search. So here we have search and active calendars. For example, you can just write, for example, this one. And here we have what? You should hear keywords, content, and event. Here we have also who, under a participant, organizer, or creator. Then here we have where, under allocation, or rule. Then doesn't have keywords, not content, and event. Then here we have also date, from date to the date. Then you click over search. All right. Then here we have support as well. For example, here we have training, update, send feedback to Google as well. Then we have here Google settings, for example, trust, transit, and color, print, and get add-ons. Then we have here set if you want day, week, month, year, schedule, or four days. Here we have show the client events, show completed tasks, show appointments, schedules as well. Then here we have if you want to switch to the add task, you can just click over add task and you watch your title and also here we have details for example and we have to select today or tomorrow or also you can day you select the day that you want and here we have set time as well then we have repeat if you want and here we have if one on after and you click over okay all right then we have also here to google apps like here we have also google calendar and here we have my account and here in the left and right we find the cap. For example, if you want to add a note here, you just click over here and you add a note, then you click over done. Then we have here if you want to just add tasks and you have just to select the date time as I did. Then we have contact maps and we have also here get add ons. All right, this is it. Why now, for example, if you want to add something here. So first, let's just delete this one. You have just to add a title firstly. You select if it's event, task, appointment, schedule. Then you have to firstly to select here the time. For example, all day, time zone, does not repeat. And you have here find a time, add also guests. And you can also add Google Meet video conference. Then you have also to add a location, a description for or a Google, or a Google, right? So we have to select here the description. You can choose also the, for example, if you want bold, italic, underline. Then you have here a number of slides if you want, battle list. Then we have insert link and remove formatting. Then you have if you want to add a Google Drive attachment and also here some information about myself. For example, I will select the color that I want, right? Then I will select also if it's if I'm free or busy. Then we have a default visibility if it's public or also private. Then we have here select 
how much minutes or how much hour or how much day also so this is it about identification you can also add identification 10 minutes before and you can add another one all right and this is it then you click over save then here we have also other things for example here you select the day that you want and you click over it for example December 2025 and also you add here for example for on a Sunday 30 and 1 here Monday or you will have Tuesday and this is it so we are in October right now so you can also search for people if you want you select my calendars for example I will select here this color for myself then you have birthdays as well tasks you can also add other calendars all right for example subscribe to calendar quite new calendar post calendar of interest from your url then you have import as well then we have here for other calendars if you want holidays in morocco and just add another calendars all right then here we have for to create a task or event so we have just to add a title and you select the time that you want or the day also you select if it's all day or here does not repeat we have here daily weekly on thursday monthly on the first thursday annually on december 4 every weekday and we have custom as well and then we have if you want to quit an event so about this one you have just to select here the day day and you have to select time and you select also here for add guests if you want to add google meet video conferencing you can add also location a description a google drive here attachment and we have also here you select if you are busy and also default visibility you select here how much minutes before and you click over save all right then we have the last one which is appointment schedule about this one we have here appointment duration how long should each appointment last for example if it's 1 hour 15 minutes then we have generating availability as well so that when you you are regularly available for appointments then we have here repeatedly repeat weekly or here does not repeat or custom then we have here select here if it's sunday and also you can add this one and also you can add other time in the same day all right then also you can delete this one if you want can also put the day that we want in available as well so for example put sunday and monday or let's just put in this saturday and sunday of in available and i will work for five days all right then we have here you select the time if it's on morocco usa on other things then we have a schedule window you can just link this information all right we have adjust available see booked appointment as well then we have calendars so this is how it works you can just click over next and you get started creating appointment schedule so this is it for this video guys i hope it has been useful and helpful and see you again in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you guys see you again in the next video